Welcome to Betty's prestigious property show. Click or call. We do it all. What is a standalone building? A standalone building is a freestanding residential building offering minimum amenities and fulfilling basic requirements. They are usually constructed in centrally located areas. A standalone usually means an independent house, a bungalow, or a villa. Affordable housing is always in demand, especially in metro cities where property prices are high. Standalone properties are in demand among the young working population who have limited financial resources and need to stay close to the business hubs. From an investment perspective, nothing can beat a standalone building as the land prices are linked with it and reconstruction can be done at any point of time. We think standalone buildings are more economical. And how about you? What is your thought on standalone houses? Today, our spotlight is on this six bedroom standalone house for sale, seated on 32 decimals. It's located in Mutungo suburb of Kampala. It features a study, seating, dining, gym, and children's TV room, two kitchens, bathrooms and toilets, laundry room, four light balconies, helper's wing with two rooms, among others. Well, the biggest advantage of standalone buildings is that it can be developed within the city as it requires less land area. A house in a standalone building is more economical and affordable as compared to gated communities because they only cover the basic amenities and do not have high maintenance charges. If there is a well-established infrastructure like schools, markets, banks, hospitals, Nearby, a standalone building can offer a good quality of life at an affordable price. Standalone buildings are more economical when it comes to rentals. Tenants who are bachelors and have limited financial resources prefer standalone buildings as they are affordable. Also, in terms of constructions, these buildings are completed faster as there are no external amenities to be developed. Additionally, standalone projects don't have high maintenance charges. However, the credentials of such developers and construction quality may be questionable when it comes to standalone buildings. Security is another cause of concern, even when there is a guard. Let's take a look at the pros of investing in a standalone house. Number one, capital growth. Generally speaking, houses usually offer great long-term capital growth than apartments because land appreciates in value over time. This is why it's also important to consider the location when choosing an investment property. Number two, flexibility to renovate. Houses allow much greater control over renovations than apartments because you don't need to get the approval of the body corporate. Houses allow the opportunity to subdivide or build an extension 
subject to council approval. Renovations can also add value to the property. Number three, more reliable rental returns. Houses generally attract tenants like families and couples who are usually more reliable and likely to stay for a longer period of time. Tenants who have pets usually prefer to rent a house because of the yard space and the more flexible lease terms. Research shows that renters with pets on average have lower tenancy than those without pets, probably because it can be so hard to find pet-friendly rental housing. Now that we, we have understood the pros of investing in a standalone house, let's take a look at the cons of investing in a standalone house. Number one, price. Standalone houses are typically more expensive than apartments in the same area because of the land value. Number two, yield. Houses generally have lower rental yields than apartments, but higher capital growth. If chasing rental income for cash flow is more important to you than capital growth, you may want to keep this in mind when choosing an investment property. Number three, upkeep costs. When you own a house, you are responsible for all the maintenance and the upkeep fees, as well as paying insurance premiums if you've taken these out. You also have to pay for building and pets inspections before buying the property to make sure there aren't any underlying problems. Sell price. The property is up for sale at 1.3 million US dollars, slightly negotiable, 